Hi everyone. So uh, this is a very brief unboxing video um, for my Kenwood TS480HX radio. Um, I got it into my head a while ago that um, I wanted a radio with a little bit more output power. And um, some of you will know that the TS480 um, comes in two. There's two options. There's the 100 watt version with built-in ATU. And there's the 200 watt version, which is this one, the HX Hotel X-Ray. Um, that doesn't have a built-in ATU. And it, although obviously doubling your output power um, is only 3 dB, so which is, you know, an S point is 6, so it's half an S point, obviously being able to increase your power above 100 watts uh, every now and then as necessary uh, is quite a useful thing. Um, obviously, I've got my BLA 350 linear um, by RM Italy, which, um, well, I think it's a bit fragile. Well, I know that it's a bit fragile. You have to look after those things. I have used it, but it was complaining of high SWR. Um, but then again, I was inadvertently sort of powering it through um, one of my flat cables um, that, that, that uh, part, you know, connected to my um, coaxial uh, line in. So uh, not surprisingly, but that's resolved now with my new modified end fed wire. So, um, but anyway, yeah, the, uh, I just got it into my head that I think a radio with a 200 watt radio was what I wanted. Um, but I couldn't really justify buying one without selling something else. So in the end, I've sold my ICOM IC756 and I've also sold my Panasonic RFB65. So I've actually sold two radios that more than covers the cost of buying this one. Um, I bought it from a guy at Harwell. Um, he bought it from, I think, someone else in the club or the club themselves. And um, and I, although I've had it for over a week, I've literally not even had the time to uh, to, to take anything out of the box. So so this is basically it. Um, it's so it's two hundred watts, uh, HF and fifty megahertz, uh, all mode transceiver. And um, my friend Jeff M zero UHF has one of these and swears by it. And I can as well because. Um, his audio is uh, brilliant and his a signal, he's always very strong with me. I don't know how well this has been packed. Obviously, this isn't a new radio. Let's see what we've got. So, we've got the instruction manual, which is handy because I am absolutely not familiar with Kenwood radios at all. So, uh, so that's a must. Um, uh, mains. Power lead with inline fuses, which is uh, good news. And is that the same? Okay, so there's two. Oh, okay. I think this is because depending on the um, specification of your power supply, I think you need to get the 200 watts. You actually need two 30 amp power supplies. I've actually got a 40 amp power supply, and um, which should be enough. So, um, uh, but anyway, that's why I think that's why there's two power leads, although I am guessing. Um, what's that? That looks like yeah, an addendum to the instructions. And uh, let's uh, bring it a bit closer. So, right, this is a plate that Jeff was describing, and I think this is, I don't know whether, this, I think this is for mounting in a vehicle or other, uh, yeah, like a car or whatever, I think. Um, but it, all, I think it's also related to being able to um, uh, remove the front panel. And then, okay, so here we have, so there you go. This is the actual front panel itself, which is freestanding. So you can, this can be separate from the main body of the radio um, as a sort of separate unit. And there it is in what looks like pristine condition, which is good to see. It's actually smaller than I imagined it actually, um, but uh, I imagined it to be a bit bigger, but uh, never mind, all good. Um, European warranty card, which I'm sure has expired by now. And then we have the packing. Right, the main, okay, so then we've got the main body of the radio, which weighs a ton. 
Okay, so there you go. So that's the uh, the main body of the radio, which itself actually is 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 actually very small um, compared to, for example, the Icon IC756 that I sold um, to pay for this radio effectively. So there we go. Kenwood HF 50 megahertz all mode transceiver DSP. So that's the main body of the radio. Uh, what else have we got? Very good. Microphone. Excellent. With a very long lead. That'll be useful. Um, some kind of mounting bracket. And some other bracketry, presumably for vehicle mounting as well. And the uh, some more brackets. That looks like a almost like the for a minute it reminded me of like a slide type affair like um building an ikea drawer but there you go and then we've got um some screws and washers spare fuses um some other bits and pieces that i won't need for now so there you go so that's it so that's the unboxing uh of the uh ts 480 hx um i'm going to power it up and um once I've done that, I'll uh, I'll record another video. But uh, yeah, what is, it's a very small little device um, compared to I mean it's small actually compared to my seventy three hundred. So, uh, but it's what I wanted. So, two hundred watts, get the thing fired up and figure out how to use it. And uh, there'll be other videos to follow. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Seven three.